Hey guys, what's going on? It's GP here, and welcome back to Subnautica. So, a few things have changed since the last episode, of course, which, honestly, I feel like it wasn't too much of an episode. It was just me just wandering around aimlessly to find some stuff. But fortunately, um, after I wrapped that one up and I went off camera, I did find some results. As you can see here, Monger is all the way over there. And I think everything else is close by. So I finally found... That's right, the Deep Shroom Forest. And I don't think that's going to be all I'm going to be tackling in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see. But I might as well go ahead and show you some of the improvements I've made in this place. I've got, um... What is it? Jeez, that sand shark is going nuts up there. But I've got this. I've got a filtration machine now. Which means now I'm able to make my own water and salt split it up. My trash can is here. So this should come in real handy. Jeez, the sand shark. I need to do something about him, honestly. No! Okay. Where is he? Of course, my blood vine is producing blood oil constantly. Where is the sand shark? That's the main room I keep here. There he is. He keeps attacking my alien containment. Ridiculous. You better run. You better. Get out of here. Leave him be. Did he just shrink? Well, that was an odd moment, <laughs> I suppose. Um, right. Let's get back into my base. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, I'll wait by the water filtration until that's ready, hopefully, sometime soon. There we go! Oh my god. Salt, of course. And large filtered wa wow. Oh, that's amazing. Alright. Yeah, sorry for all that confusion. But if you guys want to see more Subnautica on the channel, you want to see it keep thriving, be sure to absolutely demolish that like button. Absolutely crush it! If you're new or old to the channel, um, do be sure to basically... I'm not going to tell you guys to subscribe anymore. That's right. Uh, just feel... Whatever you want to do based on the content you see before you today. So let me go put up that salt deposit that I've got. It is very handy. I totally forgot I had the water filtration and I'm glad I got it installed now. So of course it drains power pretty frequently, but that's why I've got like a thousand fifty power. Should be doing good. Okay, now the main thing. I I think I might be getting Lunaper. It might be all hands on deck here. I'm not entirely certain. So, what we're going to be doing today... That's right, you do also need, I think, some of the prawn suit arms. I'll take the extra ones with me this time. I'm stocked up on water. I made sure to top off in Polyphemus for the trip ahead. Like I said, I have found the Deep Shroom bio forest, whatever you want to call it. I gotta be ready for this. Lunaper might be able to get me so far, but she should be pretty good for this. Okay. So why don't we get her docked onto Polyphemus? Temporarily, because we know we'll be putting longer back in here eventually, my prawn suit. Fantastic prawn suit. There we go. Thank you. Systems online. All right, you just stay down there, Lunapur. I love it. She's got that bioluminescent look. She's gonna blend in perfectly down there. Fantastic. Right. Enough fooling around, though. We've got stuff to do. Place to go. I also don't know what this is. Is this the sand shark? Could be. Right. So let's get you powered back on. Powering up. So I go to these cameras here, it's like there's nothing here. Like, I'm sorry, what? What threat is there around here? I don't really know. Well, regardless, enough fooling around. You gotta turn tail. So there's the alien island. We went this way, in between these two points. When instead, I never thought that I had never really explored behind the aurora. Bam! Right next to the floating island. 
monger is sitting stationary by where the deep shroom forest is and that is where we shall be headed so let's be careful i don't want polyphemus to get stuck on any coral um had a bit of an issue there and yeah let's just make our way and see what lies ahead of us why don't we all right a few close scrapes we made it through we are now arriving at our destination. So, next to this creep vine forest. I knew it was next to a creep vine forest. I just didn't exactly know where to look. Monger is down there. Whoa. Okay. Easy, easy, easy does it. Turn around a little bit. Get this beautiful view of this young reef back. I'm gonna try to go a bit closer down. I have Polyphemus situated directly above this. The best I can, at least. Okay. Let's back it up. Alright. Let's take some water. Of course. Yeah, it's not gonna cut. We need this one. There we go. Reginalds. They're all set. We've got Lunar docked. And like I said, I have made sure to get. Not the alien chamber, it was this one. Yeah. All these extra provisions, batteries, water, Reginalds. We are set to go. And of course, some extra health packs as well. Um, I might take the rebreather. Yeah, I think the rebreather would be a safe bet. Because I'm going to be real here. Another thing I want to do for the time being um, is that I want to explore. I'm pretty certain it is called the Lost River down where... Uh, down near that, where we found our first ghost alive. And I don't know if we'll be able to explore today's episode, but we can try. Let's just go ahead and, um... Yeah, let's not go for Lunaper just yet. Actually, yeah, we'll have her on standby. But we won't be... I don't know if we'll be using her too much. Drop us. Okay, yep, there's Monger right there. And right here... Right down there is where it is. Oh boy. So we'll have Lunapur on standby right here. Splendid. Keep an eye on things. Right now, it's time for me to go down in Monger, which I don't think I have done before. Collect the smell salvage because some extra titanium is always never too bad. Store it in Lunapur. Actually, I need to investigate that wreckage too before I go ahead and do that because. I have not explored that yet. So, yeah, Lunaper, we will be using you after all. I don't want to take too long here because these videos always get too long with me just exploring random junk. So, this could be something interesting. At least I hope so. I still need the battery charger, mind you guys. Let's get my laser cutter. We don't need the Habitat Builder anytime soon. Alright. Cut this open. We've done it beforehand prior, but I was kind of in a rush. Oh, I hear those biters. I know you're taking your sweet time, but come on, we got biters on our tail. Got it. Okay, back up. Let that cool off. Where are those biters? There's more of the spade fish. There he is. This is not my first rodeo with you little guys. I should get the propulsion arm on Monger and then just yeet him out of the stratosphere. That will just be fantastic. Okay, there we go. He's down. Alright, this looks like... Yep, there we go. Cooling off. Let's see what we've got in here. Supply crates. With water. Perfect. Um, I keep using my sea glide. I have a flashlight, so why don't I use that for the time being? Boom. Yeah, there we go. And then knife, scanner, wait a moment, no, 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 flashlight, stasis rifle. Here. Okay. Let's actually put this flashlight to use, why don't we? We have another sealed. Okay, so this one's gonna be pretty explorative. This one we can open just fine on our own. So let's start here. 
Oh, hello. Okay, it's a modification station fragment. Still really helpful, however. Um, no signal, as per usual. Is this door sealed? There's a chance it could be. Oh wait, what's this? I think it's sealed. It's like a window. Oh, like a little ventilation shaft where that used to be. All right, and now we've got another sealed door. So let's make quick work of this thing. There we go. Let's get this thing cut open now. Ooh, it's hot, it's hot. Okay, uh, let's go back to Luniper for some oxygen real quick. There we go, fill it up. I've got my rebreather equipped as well, I believe, so. It will come in extra handy for all this. Now, let's see what we have through here. Light, please. Okay, that's a mobile vehicle bay fragment. Still, extra titanium. It never hurts to just scan it, right? Oh, that is too. Well, alrighty then. A lot of mobile vehicle bay parts in here it would seem. What is this? Propulsion cannon. I'm just racking up on the titanium here. Ooh, data box. Lightweight at high capacity tank. Lighter build allows for enhanced maneuverability. Okay. I am okay with that. That is not bad at all. Of course just loaded on titanium right now. Where does this take us now? Nowhere. Okay. I think we've explored this place. I can check out that door from the outside though. This one right here to see if that's anything or not. Um, okay, it isn't. It's just a sealed off wall, door, thing. Whatever you guys want to call it. Alright. That's that little chunk left out. Or, uh, explored. Still no battery charger, which just kind of sucked, but we should get to it eventually. Let's store up all this titanium we found in here, almost fully filled now. Welcome aboard, Captain. And let's get back to here. Monger is awaiting. Yeah, you stay put, Lunaper. Right there. We have some water real quick. I got another disinfected water, so it was quite nice. Excuse me, what the heck just hit Luniper? Well, regardless... Oh boy. The big boy. Let me just gather some of this real quick around. There's a lot of mineral outcrops here. No shale. That's not bad either. I like to store my monger, but I feel like that's going to take up too much space. Right. Oh, it's even waiting for me. Okay. As per usual, just distractions everywhere. Alright, clear it out. Let's have these chips. Um, do I want to get, do I have any health packs on me? I do have one. Let's treat myself. I want to be at full health here. Okay. Grab me an extra Reginald extra water and now let's go ahead and dock monger my first full exploration with the prawn suit and we're going down here now i do know there are ghost leviathans so for the time being i might swap out the grapple arm with my torpedo arm yes there we go okay Welcome let's get inside now, let's go. I've got a grapple arm, so that should help with me trying to get back up. Even though he's not the best jumper. Let's head over here, first. I don't just want to take a plummet straight down. No, I don't. Is this a new specimen? I don't know, actually. Okay, it's a violet view. Got it. Sand shark's just frozen up there. Also, let's replace my flashlight with something else. Maybe the flare can help me here? 
I just realized I got two giant metal salvages I never put up. Oops. Um. Alright, it's fine. Yeah, I'll replace the flashlight with the flare for now. You never know when you'll need it. Because they I do seem to be useful. Even though I've never gotten the chance to actually use them that much. Oh boy. Okay, so yeah. I'm suspended right now. Up here. The dust settle. Now we're just gonna take the plummet, aren't we? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, but look at this place, though. Whoa, those are new. Come on, give me to the land, give me to the land. Yeah, there's a lot of volcanic vents down here. Maybe Lunaper would have been the better option, maybe. What are these things? I've got my torpedo arm, so that is useful. Man, let's, let's step outside for a moment. Yeah, a lot of volcanic activity down here. Hopefully I can scan these. Wait, that's right, I need my rifle. Conditions in this cave support a microcosm of the unique. Possibly predatory. predatory. I kind of figured, you know. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Artificial structure. I do believe there's a base somewhere down here. And I know there's ghost leviathans as well. I saw one while I was looking over this for the first time. I just don't know where exactly it is. Where's Monger? Right there. Okay. Man, this place looks cool. I have to admit. Are these deep shrooms? Or are they something different? I don't think I can collect them. Fine by me. Say, so yeah, what are these things? They look vicious. Crab snakes! That totally doesn't sound dangerous at all. Oh boy. Stay put! Where's Monger? Where's Monger? Over here. Okay, so I scanned a crab snake. Of course, we got sand sharks. Pretty generic, of course. Jump. Let's keep moving. Oh yeah, that does look like a platform. Someone's been here before. And what is this? I can't mine it right now because I don't have my drill arm active. You know, that's A-OK -okay by me. Yeah, it looks like this place goes deep. I would have used Polyphemus, but I don't think he could have fit in here. I sure do hope I can find a way back up as well. Okay. First time coming through this place, ever. Perhaps, mayhaps I can scan one of these mushrooms. I should be able to, right? Yep, jelly shrooms are what they're called. Go figure. Crab snakes seem to be avoiding me right now, so that's a good sign. Some more volcanic activity. Where's my sea glide? Here we go. More infected. Whoa. Oh, that's the eye eye that I had scanned before. New creature discovered. Very cool. Is that the ghost leviathan that I'm hearing? I don't think it sounds like that, so I can't tell. So we found the eye eye. Very neat. Hmm. A lot of crab snakes and jelly shrooms down here, though, for certain. Is this a shale outcrop? Yes, it is. Gold. I do kind of need a bit more gold. And we got magnetite. Oh, yes. More magnetite is always a delight. Absolutely. Okay. Start depositing some more goods in Monger, then I'll check out that platform over there. That sounds like a ghost leviathan. I am pretty darn certain it is. And if I can hear it, that means it's close. Okay, let's start storing the goods in here. Including this eye eye. Now. Real quick, what is this? Gold ore, I think it is? Yeah, it's gold. Deposit. So I don't want to end up falling down there. That could be incredibly dangerous. 
for certain. But it does run a bit deeper. I saw another eye. There it is. So I have a new fish food, whatever, to try out soon. Awesome. Okay. What's over here? Oh. That doesn't look pleasant. Unless it's just like some form of barnacle. That would make sense if it's been down here for a while. Yeah, this looks kind of rusty, actually. What is this? Magnet. Oh, that's a large mass of magnetite. Oh, that is splendid. There's a lot of magnetite down here. Splendid. Diamond. I already got that. This is lithium, I believe. Yes, it is. There's a lot of magnetite down here. I wonder if I could find some other things then that I have before, like nickel or something. Peepers are flourishing down here as well. 30 seconds. Dang it, I got... You know what? It's fine. I've got plenty of diamond back at home anyways. Alright. Let's get back aboard here. I want to be careful, because there's all this fire down here. I don't think the prawn is fire resistant. I know it's meant to explore certain depths, but I don't think it's got the fire resistance to it. This is the first time I've seen like a large mass of magnetite. So that is really cool. More eye eyes. Hmm. I'm starting to think Lunaper probably could have been a better idea here. But we're doing just fine right now, so why stop and change our plans here? A lot of stalactites. No, stalagmites. Those are the ones that form from the floor, right? If it was stalactites, then I'm sorry. We need to keep going. We can't just le keep leaving Monger behind. As risky as it is, we gotta keep going. Okay, can't go that way. Blocked off. So, yeah, here we go. It's all a nice, solid mass of land here. Whoa. What was that? I saw like some sort of lights over there. Peculiar. There is indeed more magnetite. This is another lithium thing. This place is actually pretty awesome. But I can't get... I can't stay down here forever, though. At least, so far as I know, I can't. These paper, these papers actually look kind of different. I just realized they are different. Oculus, called Oculus. I have to freeze these guys. Where'd they go? You guys can't have gone far. That's for certain. There's one. Scan it. It's taking a while to scan this New Oculus. It looks like a deep sea peeper. I mean, that kind of makes sense. It probably is. One that's been affected by this whole zone down here. So very awesome. A nice storage of magnetite. We found the eye eyes down here. We found an Oculus. Hmm. I honestly thought they were just normal peepers. Apparently not. So might as well scout ahead to see what's safe for, um... Whoa. What is that? That sounds dangerous. And very close by. I need to watch my step. Looks like this is all solid mass, solid ground for Monger to travel by. I don't know if that's a ghost leviathan or not. It, I can't remember what they sound like. I know they're down here. I just don't know if that's them. These oculus are very... Very slippery. <laughs> there we go, I got another. 
You're just frozen in place. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. They actually seem kind of curious, actually. They don't like run away. It looks like they're coming towards me. That is really interesting. Right. Let's open this up. Store all these Oculus in here. So I need a food and water break. Maybe it's the crab snakes I'm hearing. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh boy. Yeah, they bite. They bite. Okay. Where's my torpedo arm? Fire! I missed. Well, just create a vortex over there somewhere. Okay, so this is safe to walk. Let's head this way. Again, longer episodes, I'd imagine. There's another Oculus. I'm going to research these things soon enough. Oh yeah, there is tons of magnetite down here. Score. That's another I I. I it. I I it. Yeah, they're much quicker and hard to get because they're smaller, but hey, if I can catch the Reginald's just fine. They all seem very curious and mellow, I swear. The eye eyes are just running away. Uh, let me see, actually. Fauna. Let's see, Oculus. Species shows genetic similarities with a common peeper. The shells and the cave systems are separated by just a few meters of rock. Stuff and food stuffs and threats in each biome are completely different. Yeah. Edible, of course. We figured that much. I like how curious they are. Okay. Wait, did I just come from here or what? Okay, let me see. Where am I right now? Crab snake's right there. And it does that. I don't know why it does that. I believe this is where I was going. Yes, it was. This was the direction I was headed towards. I need to look up these crab snakes as well. It would probably be for the better. So yeah. So I came from this way. Looks like this is the way we want to go. Maybe? See what's out over here. Fortunately, I didn't grab my batteries for all I can see. Okay, there's another platform over there, so yeah. Follow the platforms, I suppose. This is the way to go. Alright. Let's get on the move. What was it? Uh, it was up here. I just came from. Yeah, it looks like they live in the jelly shrooms. That's another thing you need to check out as well, these jelly shrooms. Oh lord. They are angry. They are very angry. Just go, just go. Yeah, here we go. Here's the next one. Splendid. We're making our way through. So there's another platform over there. Okay. Um. Good to know. Supply crate. A battery! Fantastic! I was just talking about how I needed one. Right. So I gotta keep scouting ahead. I think I have made away from the volcanic region, so. Everything else should be safe to tread across. This place is massive. Doesn't help with all these aggressive crab snakes going around, making home these jelly shrooms and whatnot. That's a dead end. Looks like this way it is. I mean, we did kind of see it already, though, didn't we? 
Oh boy. Taking sweet, sweet time and I hope you all don't mind. Just snatch up an Oculus real quick. Ah, no one will notice he's gone. There's so many others like him. Okay. Alright. Again, I don't think I'm going to be drilling for anything here, so... Let's go. This way we are going. Oh my god, yeah! There's a base! I didn't realize that wasn't a platform. It's a damaged base. Holy crud. Okay. Um... Real quick, let me swap out my torpedo arm. Now nah, I'm gonna keep it on me for now. I don't trust removing it. I drilled this magnetite, but I don't think I have the storage for it. I've definitely collected a lot so far. Actually, I should go ahead and store my uh, salvage in here. There we go, I've got more freehand. Free storage. So what is all this? We got a PDA. Degasi! That Integrate makes sense! PDA data. So Degasi, voice log, they've already been down here. Thermal plant fragment. Peculiar. This is a hatch that I can't get through. And here's a nuclear reactor as well. Hmm. And this. Stasis rifle. All pretty standard stuff. And my inventory is starting to color with titanium again. As per usual, just titanium chunks filling up my space. <laughs> oh, hello. What's this? A modification station? You know it. Okay. That window's not broken. There is some way in. It must be through here, right? Oh, there's another nuclear reactor fragment, actually. Dang. Okay. Yeah, it seems pretty silent here. No threats or anything. I suppose we can head in. Oh, those things are dangerous. They hurt a lot. Okay, I gotta be careful here. So those things are what I keep getting hit by in the creep vine. Forest, little cave passings, whatever. There's another water filtration machine down here too. Okay, this is PDA. Bart Torgel's log. Say, yeah, Degasi and Bart Torgel have been down here before. Okay. Be cautious. Ow. No, 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 get out, get out, get out. There we go, heal us up. Let's look this way. 30 seconds. Oh, shoot. No, 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 don't get stuck. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Ah, where's Monger? Should be right here, right? Yes, 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 he is. Yeah, I can't fit in there with him. Alright, even the rebreather has its limits. Unfortunately. Ooh, what is this? Data box, ultra high capacity tank. Okay, I've already got it, but still. Very nice to gain it again. Never really hurts, does it? Another abandoned PDA. Gossy voice log six. Deeper. New PDA data. Yeah, it seems you guys did go deeper. What happened to you guys down here? There's like all these strange starfish. Remind me of Star of the Conqueror from uh, DC Justice League. So there is more. Nice round window. Let's go up. As it goes even higher. Oh, here we go. This is the observatory. Another band of PDA. Stalker team! Integrating new PDA I think data. I got all the Degasi logs now. Really interesting. Yeah, we knew the point of Stalker Teeth after a while. No, no, no. Get unstuck. Get unstuck. 
Gonna die. Oh, where's my health pack? There. Alright, I think we got what we came for in here. I think this is all that's down here. Well, Monger? Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's go ahead and get moving out then. So yes, I do not believe that noise is being made by the crab snakes. Let's take a look at these things. Threat level is pretty high. Here's living symbiosis with the local flora. Yeah, the, gel the jelly shrooms. All encounter specimens have been located within 50 meters of jelly shroom flora, frequently within the plants themselves. Avoid. Display territorial behavior when threatened, patrolling the cave systems in which they reside. So that would make sense. I'm lucky that I haven't seen the ghost leviathan or any. The jelly shroom. Predators, none identified for it. Alright. Very, very nice to know. Definitely found quite a lot of interesting. Whoa. Okay. It just drops down there. It's not that deep. Fortunately for me. Still. Yeah, these crab snakes are no joke, though. Alright, Monger. Let's go ahead and uh, fend them off, why don't we? Where's my grapple arm? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, can I hit that? Nope, it's like the hook shot. It's not like the hook shot. It doesn't go all the way out. Let's be careful treading through here. They're right next to crab snake territory. Here, go! Let's go! Okay. Hit that. Oh, oh, oh. Easy does it. Easy does it. Okay. We are indeed okay. Here's the first base floor that we had found. Splendid. I think this is the first, at least. Let's see. Yeah, they're up there. We didn't explore that direction, which I think is probably for the better, because we have all this down below us. This volcanic activity going on. So now crop. Yeah, shale. More lithium. Yay. I don't know where I can find nickel. There's no nickel down here, from what I've seen. And then that kyanite as well. I need that for a lot of the upgrades too. Nickel and kyanite. I don't know where to get those right now. Maybe the Lost River? I can't seem to find them unless they're deeper in this uh, jelly shroom forest. I don't know. I guess I'll keep exploring around for a while. And then next episode I'll check out the Lost River in a bit more detail. Let me just check out this one spot over here now. This one direction that I didn't go in real quick before I call it though. I am right in the middle of crab snakes, but there is more. This little spot right here. It looks like there's nothing in this, though. Oh, wait, there's a supply crate right here. First aid! Fitting! Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Ooh, this is definitely gonna be one of my longer ones. Oh, yeah, the crab snakes seem to be upset. I've left Monger behind for a bit. I'm just doing the whole scouting ahead deal. Let's see what lies ahead in case I need to be wary. I'm surprised I haven't seen the ghost leviathan because I saw one coming down here and it's been a no show. So I guess consider me lucky. Unless it resides deeper and it was only coming up that one time to show me the danger down here. That's always a possibility. Okay, so there is only like one direction that I haven't checked yet unless this loops back around again. Okay, this is new. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Environment log. Success! Integrating new PDA data. So yeah, this is all. This is the only other side I haven't checked. This is all quite new ground. 
got longer close to where I entered. So yeah, this is all newer, deeper, I suppose I can say. Whoa, hello there. That leads right to a volcano. No, thank you. Again, still no ghost of Ivan, only these crab snakes everywhere. Very peculiar. Again, I should probably be very lucky that I haven't encountered a ghost leviathan down here. I don't know how many times I've said that. I keep capitalizing on it. I should probably shut up before he does show his face. Oh, hello. And where does this lead? Back up, by chance? It most certainly does. Right, so I'll go ahead and wrangle Monger out then. But until then, thank you all. Oh wow, this is... I never noticed this spot. Interesting. Well, thank you all for tuning in today's episode of Subnautica. Again, next episode we will be checking out the Lost River. We know there's a ghost leviathan in there, so we got to be cautious, but that makes it even more exciting. And from there, I think there's only like one more place I can think of that I haven't found yet. Okay, and yeah, now it's registered the proposed Degasi Habitat. That's what it's called. Alright, now I know where it is at all times. Sweet. Um, check out my second channel in the description below if you're interested in any non-game late content that I may be posting. Or may have posted because it's going to be a while until I can get back to that channel again. Uh, share this video with your friends. People that you um, know any communities you may be a part of. Spread the word that I'm here to entertain for every age. Let me get back into Monger for safety and air, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Stay gold, my friends! I need to get up, I need to get up. Oh, oh, ah! Oh boy. I'll work on getting up uh, later. Stay gold, my friends, and bye bye <laughs>